Okay, let's get started. The playing in the north. I think it's the pink. We have boy. I think it's, uh, it's China. Very good save on, on such a closed map here. I think with only four on them. Um, only five on food. Oh no, it's Abbasid, yeah, not Chinese. What am I talking about? Yeah, so it's Abbasid. Abbasid in this map. Okay, I, I I expect some trading to happen. Uh, let's just go to the south here. We have uh, playing as the Delhi Sultanates. We have Couch Tomato. Didn't build the mosque first. This is an interesting variation of the build order. Because you can get your wheelbarrow up a little bit faster. Uh... Yeah, but your early economy is slightly idle, slightly more idle. Some players like this variation. Uh, Couch Tomato likes it uh, because it can ge you can um, it can help you later on building your walls. Uh, yeah, all right. So let's go over the map. This is French Pass, of course. You have these two huge mountains splitting the map basically into three areas. You have the the area from the north. For the north player in this case it's boy it's got a couple of deer patches bunch of stone it's got one pig which nobody will take this game but um <laughs> usually it's pretty impactful we have both trade sites here in the corner same for the south player but uh, somewhat mirrored and then you have the center where you have two sacred sites and you have a lot of gold a lot of gold so this is uh, 8k vein each, so we got one, we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, 8k gold veins. That's a lot of gold. Okay. Oh, let's see the scout here for Couch Tomato. What's gonna happen? Ah, okay, so it's just gonna scout well, it's not gonna run into the TC. So the House of Wisdom going good. Forward. The gold's pretty far away from the TC, so that could be something Couch Tomato might attack. But the Delhi players don't typically like rushing in early Middle Age. They really like getting the secret sites first, and this is a good map for Delhi Sultanate. They can really defend the middle uh, with relative ease. Oh boy, going with Military Wing. Wants to apply some pressure. Military Wing, you have access to boot camp in Feudal Age, making your infantry a little bit healthier. And Dome of the Faith for Couch Tomato. Really going heavy on the Scholars. I wonder if Couch Tomato wants the fast upgrades or if he, or if he's really gonna prioritize uh, getting those, uh, getting those scholars out, getting those uh, that army out. It's gonna be interesting for sure. Oh, boy, collecting tons of wood would make sense here. He really wants to have enough wood at least. Um, to get something out, to get uh, the range or um, or a smith uh, or a smith or a, or a barracks out. Barracks produces melee infantry, um, archers this range infantry. So really, really synergizes well with boot camp. Yeah, but also, recent change two spearmen and an archer are gonna spawn. That can be huge. You're gonna have a, a, a bit, bit of a lead in terms of. In terms of military presence. Don't get to Couch Tomato, he hasn't yet committed to anything. But same deal, he now wants to gather a little bit of wood. He's already getting piety, I suppose he's gonna get Sanctity as soon as he can. It's gonna take three minutes. Get Sanctity, Sanctity allows uh, Delhi to get um, to get the Sacred Sites in Feudal Age. Okay, there's the military wing. Military wing will be able to apply pressure on those sacred sites going with the barracks. Couch Tomato may not have this scouted. Doesn't appear like he has. Okay, 
So two spearmen and an archer. <laughs> oh my god, you can actually start building a ram now! You can start building a ram now, that's insane! Imagine showing up here with a ram, wouldn't do too much, uh, the villagers would take care of the ram, but the pressure would be insane. Not getting boot camp, time being, doesn't even have the gold for it. So I guess boy really only went with, uh, with the military wing to get his military numbers up. He has two spearmen in queue, wants to send them over to the trade. Or doesn't want to catch tomato to have any nasty trade here. I... Oh, and he's going with horsemen. Horsemen? Now I'm getting a blacksmith up. Gnome of the Faith. Uh... Yeah, the Gnome of the Faith will keep getting uh, scholars. The moss will uh, get all of the attacks. We have the first horseman for Couch Tomato. Oh, and boy, sending a villager over! Where, it? Where is the villager? Right there! Sending a villager over! He's gonna try to wall the trade! And he has a ram! A ram in the back of the base! Okay, Couch Tomato's gonna see the, the spearman. We don't have a range yet, and the boy is starting to get into range uh, resources territory. He has the second ram! He's gonna get a bunch of rams here! This is more genius than it looks! Like, maybe, what, four rams? Uh, we'll kill a bunch of, uh, bunch of villagers? Well, the rams don't kill the villagers, but the pressure that they deal. And the amount of villagers and villager time you need to kill the, the rams. And yeah, that will... That will make sure that they are hell of exposed. Couch Tomatoes got the two blacksmiths going. Uh, prioritizing melee armor and ranged armor. So prioritizing armor overall, I really like that. No! Can, can Couch Tomato see this? Couch Tomato can see on its trickle! You can see the trickle of units! This is the all-seeing guys! Couch Tomato's gonna try to get the secrets! Oh my god, the pressure here! Boy, boy, could, get, boy could be getting archers here! Already has uh, the f first one upgrade! I would like to see the first um, first food upgrade as well, especially now food has just run out, and there's no way he's gonna be able to take this. Uh, Couch Tomato is actually setting up for it. Couch Tomato's got a horseman on the other side. Ooh, boy's having a tough time expanding. <laughs> Here's a palisade gate, and already oh, these are so many rams. Couch Tomato might be a bit confused. Okay, the Spearmen are gonna get some um, map control here. No, but the boy doesn't know about that horseman, does he? No, he does not. Doesn't know about this as well. Doesn't even know of the berries. He shouldn't know of the trade site. If he doesn't, that's just him not being very good at the game. Second layer of walls. This is some kanky ass gameplay. Some kanky esque gameplay. Okay, protecting the scholar there with the um, wolves. Using your infantry. Uh, I think. Yeah, archers and horsemen, I think, are the best unit combo here for Delhi. For Delhi now getting both, uh, both uh, damage uh, upgrades. He only has three scholars. So, he's prioritizing some healing, he's certainly prioritizing getting the sacred sites. Boy needs to, to deal with this. Funny enough, Boy does have the ramps to take out the walls, he just doesn't have the volume, the army volume to do anything. 
Yeah, but now boy needs to use the spearman at least to clear the second site. Yeah, now we have 10 minutes on the clock for boy. This, the landmarks are fairly close together. In, ten, in about 5 minutes, with enough rams and a little bit of army pressure on the villagers, I think he can take. Oh, the horseman sees that. Oh, this is... Oh, this is actually fairly good for boy. Couch Tomato can retreat, though, and use the archers to kill... Snipe the Spearman. So, looking at boy's economy... Ooh, loads of lumber camps. He really wants to keep that... Um, that wood economy as efficient as possible, but still only uh, barracks. He's on 12 rams! Ooh, funny Couch Tomato's giving up on that. He has 10 archers. He doesn't need to give up on the sacred site. Hmm. No trade to be negated here. But there is a scout, there is a horseman for Couch Tomato next to Boy's base. Has a pretty good grasp of what's going on. Ooh, and the countdown has stopped. This is massive. He... Boy may have bought himself a lot of time. So, still loads of food on the berries. There's the army for. Um... There's the army for Couch Tomato, and we have a compound of the Defender. Compound of the Defender allows infantry units to build stone stuff. And everything costs less stone, so this to me, the camp under the defender, really ties in well with the with keeps that act as town centers. After you get the appropriate upgrade, of course. Boy is preparing this palace at gate. Boy is really gonna need all of the villagers, all of the villagers, all of the rams he can get. But he's getting more 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 units trickled in. So he bought himself a few minutes, he bought himself about uh, four minutes um, with the clearing that sacred site. Couch Tomato can attack that, and uh, there's no wood economy for Boy. Couch Tomato is just worried about defending the sacred sites. Yeah, so that's done. Ooh, that spearman is not meant to, to be attacking the, the horses. Spearman is supposed to be building the rams. But just get the rams over here. Uh, this is too messy. Okay, so his, his woodline, his closest woodline is expiring. He's gonna... boy's gonna have to come to this one. There we go, compound of the defender. Immediately getting village fortresses. Ooh, and there's an archer at home. Now the, the clock begins ticking again. Ooh, and boy is gonna... Boy is in for a tough time. Look at all the upgrades that the Couch Tomato's getting. Ooh, and there's an archer here. This is a pretty good archer as well. These are pretty good villagers, too. <laughs> uh, one almost forgets that the villagers also get upgraded. Oh, boy really needs the... Ah, uh, he needs the... The units inside to build the rams. There are loads of villagers. What are the villagers gonna do? Boy does not have resources to do any of this. There's a raiding party for Couch Tomato. Couch Tomato knows the boy isn't here. What's going on? So many villagers going forward. 
We have 46 villagers. This is almost everybody. No, no, this is everybody. Actually, everybody. So here's a defensive keep going up for Couch Tomato, and this is an outpost. Oh, and the outpost to defend. The outpost to defend the Rampush. You have 23 rams. I don't think 23 rams are enough. Uh, we have a, uh, And now we're gonna have tower elephants. Have tower dumbbells. We're gonna get so many upgrades here. Prioritizing melee attack over melee armor. I find that somewhat interesting. Still three scholars in this. Uh, Why does it tell me that's a stable? Oh, there they go! There they go! There's army here! Yeah, there is army here! Oh! The villagers forward! The villagers are gonna die, it's gonna be all in from boy! Oh, so many archers defending though! Oh, the tower is attacking the elephant! It's elephant! So tanky! No, what is this? What is this tower? So ridiculous! Oh, now the rams! The rams ah, are in for a tough time here. Okay, so half the rams on one side, half the rams on the other one, but the rams are stuck! Stuck by their own villagers! Okay, the compound of the defender will go down before Village Fortress kicks in, maybe? Ah, oh, still 10 seconds! It's gonna be before Village Fortress kicks in! It was before Village Fortress kicks in! Oh, the keep cannot produce villagers! Oh, and boy! Going in for the kill, so... Ah, uh, the, 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 I don't, the elephants are really good, but still 20 rams! It's gonna spread the rams! If boy doesn't win with this attack, I don't think he actually even wins at all! There are men at arms here! There are a lot of villagers! Oh, boy's gonna win the game! <laughs> oh, and boy won the game! <laughs> what is this? Just the Abbasid Rampush! Using the military wing to get units as soon as possible to somewhere around the, the base of Couch Tomato. <laughs> the villager count plummeting. The military count uh, didn't hold it so well as well. Wow, boy, what the game! Wow, so seeing the military <laughs> 62 units killed. This is so ridiculous. And the. Um, Wow, boy didn't even need to cut the the, the sacred 